Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney and welcome to my YouTube channel. So glad you're here today. I'm going to begin this video that has to do with the strengths and weaknesses of your identity, your personal identity. And it's going to be very informative because I think this will help you in going forward so that you can take and use this knowledge of what you know about your personality and the knowledge that you have of other people's personality and your strengths and your weaknesses and other people's strengths and weaknesses to better understand them and to adjust your expectation of them. Um, this is not to expose uh, people's behavior or even your behavior, but it's to eliminate some of our frustrations in dealing with other people. And so when you understand what to expect, then you will take actions of others less personally. And it was very informative and just like a light bulb come on for me when I learned about this. So I hope, I hope that it will work that way for you. So if we all lived in a perfect world, uh, we'd only have strengths and our personalities. But as life has it, and as you interact with others, it becomes painfully clear that we all have weaknesses. And so we have a way we can help ourselves with that. You may not can help another person with their weaknesses, but, but we have a tool available that can help us with that. And that's what this personality um, program that I use has helped me with way, 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 many, many times, and has pulled me out of a lot of environments and relationships and friendships that I really did not need to go down once I found out about their strengths and once I found out about their weaknesses. Because sometimes even strengths carried to extremes cannot be good for us or good for the other person. So, the strengths and weaknesses um, are a big part of what makes us who we are. They are part of the way we're wired. And once you know your own personality, and you can use that knowledge as you talk to others, and you use that as a, as a tool to grow, to grow forward, to go forward, and making it from where you are now to where you want to be, to take that leap. And so... Um, and once you can identify the personalities of others, then you can begin to understand them and adjust your expectations of them. And that was eye opening for me because I think I, I lived with a certain expectation of people that honestly, they could not give me. And so that might have been a lot of the reason I lived like I, uh, uh, the attitude I had and lived like I lived when I was younger. So one of the goals as you look at your own personality is to accentuate the strengths and minimize your weaknesses. Now, that takes a lifetime. But just as a person whittles away on a piece of marble, for a sculptor that's inside that marble, the vision that they see inside that uh, piece of marble. So it is with our personalities. So uh, the strengths you want to you want to minimize your weaknesses, and, and like I said, it's a it's a continuous process, and it, sometimes it takes a lifetime to, to do that, but. And, and I'm not real, I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that as you look at other people's personalities that they use their weaknesses as um, to have bad behavior. No, no, no. That's, that's inexcusable because there are a lot of people that just say like, I, well, I, this is just how I am. Well, I can't help you don't like whatever. This, this, is just, this is just me. That's how I am and that's where it's going to be. And you can either like it or lump it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Don't let me. Let's see. Okay. Sugar is 
take sugar, for instance. Sugar can either be raw or refined. Well, your personality is your your personality is your personality, and it can either be raw or refined. As you mature, and the goal that you have set before you to acquire a strong um, uh, relationship with people and friendship with people, as you learn the four basics of your personality, that will help you into refining who you are actually created to become and be while you are eliminating the weaknesses. That's why it's, that's the reason I, that's the analogy that I could basically use is the analogy of sugar, raw, or refined personality. That's kind of the way I went about it also. And when I looked at it like that, when I looked at my raw personality and how I was in my teenage years and in my early 20s and even in my 30s, I didn't like it and I knew I needed to make a change. Some people get there, some people don't ever. But if this is for you, I hope it I hope it really helps you. Um and I another point I'm gonna bring, I'm not talking about being a phony. I'm I'm really not talking about being a phony. I'm talking about taking the taking the knowledge that is out there, taking the tools that are out there and that is available for you and to not be a phony, but to build your self in learning who you are naturally, how you were naturally born into this world without life ever happening to you. And what would that look like if these certain circumstances and issues hadn't happened to you? What would that look like? And if possible, maybe you can get back to that. You may have to do a lot of forgiveness Yeah, and it might have to start with your own self before you can do with anybody else. I don't know what that journey is going to look like for you, but I'm not talking about being phony. And so um, take these tools and use them to your advantage if that's where you're at and you want to know this information. It will save you a lot of heartache and headache. Now, when I learned about the personalities, um, I was ready to embrace who am I? Who was I supposed to be? And when I did that, I I began to operate and be the best version of myself that I, I that I could be. And and I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I we never you never get to where you know it all. I know, <laughs> I know, I know a lot of people think that they, hey, I, I, I really have gotten there, Deb. Okay, not a problem with it. But take the time, take the time to get to, to know you, take the time to make the investment, to find out, you know, to find out how you're wired, how other people are wired. So you won't be aggravated with people and just at angst with yourself and them because they checked up short on your on your measurements, measuring stick, okay? So I'm going to uh, go over the each pers basic personality, and I'm going to give you the, the, the weakness, the living weakness in the raw, and then I'm going to give you the living strength in the refined, okay? So here we go. So we're going to start with the popular sanguine, okay? So if a popular sanguine person is living in the weakness or the rawness of their personality, they're loud, they're shallow, they're impulsive, they kind of want to monopolize the conversation, they're erotic, they're undependable, they're overly dramatic, they're self-centered, superficial, irresponsible, easily detracted, and it's all about me. I know some people like that, <laughs> okay. Now, if they're living in the strength, this is the popular sanguine, if they're living in the strength of their personality, of who they are, and this is their refined strength of a sanguine personality. They're energetic, they are warm, they're enthusiastic, they're approachable, they're inviting, and they are a cheerleader of you. Okay? Now, 
That's not all of them, but this, I'm just giving you a short list of them. Same thing here with powerful choleric personalities. If a powerful choleric personality is living in the weakness, in the rawness of their personality, this is what that'll look like. They're in your face. They know it all. They're angry. They're bossy. They're belligerent. They're unteachable. They're argumentative. They upsert authority. They're offensive. They're controlling and they're narrow-minded, and they're manipulative. However, if that powerful colic personality person that you think they are might be this, if they're living in the strengths of who they are, in the refined strength of who they are, this is some of those, the words that you'd be, the, 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 the visual type way you'd be looking at them. Okay, they're productive, they're visionary, they're multitaskers, open-minded, they're a leader, they organize people and resources, they are purposely focused, they motivate others, and they are constructive. Okay? Perfect melancholy personalities, the strengths and weaknesses. Okay? If they're living in the weakness of their personality, the perfect melancholy person and the raw weaknesses of who their of what their personality is, this is what you'll find in that individual. They're hesitant, they're fearful, they're uptight, they're fragile, like a hermit, they're moody, they're a hypochondriac, they're emotionally unavailable, they're self-righteous, they are aloof, they are critical and they are obsessive, living in the weakness of their personality. However, if that perfect melancholy person is living in the strength, living in the refined strength of who they are, they are empathetic, they are analytical, they are organized, they're compassionate people, they're good listeners, and they're reliable and trustworthy folks if they're living in the strength of perfect melancholy. And last, a peaceful, phlegmatic personality person, if they're living in the rawness, in the weakness of their personality, this is what you'll find in that individual. They're dull, boring, indecisive, spineless, lazy, wishy-washy, sarcastic, obstinate, passive, aggressive, and they have no, intent, no initiative. No initiative. However, that same person, peaceful, phlegmatic, if they're living in the refined strength of who they are and their personality, this is what that'll look like. They're loyal, faithful, witty, dependable, steady, consistent, willing, patient, and calm. Now, those are just, that's just a sample. There are many other words that I could use describing people that it has to do with their emotions, their work, and their, and their friends. But this is just, um, this is just a short, brief overview of all the four basic personalities living in the weaknesses of, of their personality and or living in the strengths of their personality. So I hope you find this very informative today. I'm so glad you're here with me in this series that we're doing on identity, identifying people, yourself, learning to find out who you are, who they are, and taking that information, taking this knowledge, taking this tool, taking this program, and applying it to your everyday life in and out. And you'll use this for, for the rest of your life. Simply because you're always going to be in and out of relationships, in and out of friendships with people. People's going to come and go in your life. And it's, 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 it's always going to be that way. So thank you for being here. I'm glad you found me. I'm so glad I found you. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Leave a, a message to me in the comment section below. I'll see you next week. Go out and make it a great day. Until then, 